It's been an interesting endeavor with SWE. Um, we are building something amazingly special here. I don't think there's an ecosystem like it. I'm very, very proud of what the team has been able to achieve in short, such a short space of time. In two years, we've launched three unicorns. I don't know how many companies have done that in this lifespan, but what we're building here is a new internet. And I want to talk you through that a bit more today. Um, unfortunately, Evan's un unavailable to be here. He's dealing with a family emergency this moment in time. So you have to deal with me, so let's go. All right, this time last year, we were on the stage. SWE was barely a year old. It was almost a year old, actually. Um, to be clear, SWE is gonna be two years old in about two days from now, 3rd of May. It was less than a year old. We're on a stage making very bold claims about what we're going to do, what we're going to deliver. And um, today I wanna talk about what we achieved and actually set, um, go through some of the achievements we've, we've had, in addition to set some new milestones. We're all about moving forward, making progress. We're not about stagnation. We like taking on challenges. We get bored very, very easy. But more importantly, we believe we're building something that's gonna be world changing. So since we've spoken last, we have millions in daily active wallets, right? Um, we have billions in DeFi. DeFi is growing at a rapid rate in SWE. I think SWE is number six in terms of DeFi volume, and it's in the top 10 in terms of TVL. For a chain that is one of the youngest in, in its lifespan, um, in the same time frame, we've, we've seen Mississippi, we've seen Deepbook, we've seen Warris, we've seen Seal, we've seen m multiple things. Institutions are getting involved in SWE at a large scale. Um, to go into that, over 1.4 million active wallets, there's over 1.7 billion in TVL in SWE, and Deepbook's actually done about 6 billion in, TV, um, in actual trading volume, and it's growing. Since we spoke last time from last base camp, We've seen over a, 300, um, a, um, a 3x increase in number of on-chain transactions. So SWE is getting some notoriety. More importantly, SWE is getting some real usage. So we've also had some game-changing updates. I remember when we talked about Mr. Seti in previous Basecamp, um, people just woke up in the morning and one day their apps were somehow three to four x faster without any code changes. This is the kind of things that we do. Very hard problems, very difficult scientific problems. We solve them. Usability is at the core of what we care about at Mr. Labs, and it goes all the way in every product that we build. We want developers to be armed with the tools to build the most compelling businesses upon SWE. So Mr. Seti launched, Mr. Seti actually launched, and it's the fastest consensus algorithm that runs today in production. And there's gonna be a Mr. Seti version two, which we'll talk about through our base camp. We also shipped Deepbook fully decentralized, and we made updates to Deepbook. It's running super fast, and majority of DeFi protocols are built into it. Liquidations work really, really well through it. Um, it is a backbone of um, liquidity for the entire SWE ecosystem. At the same time, SWE name service has received an upgrade. It's now a decentralized protocol with ownership for the community. There's going to be a mass upgrade coming to um, SWE NS soon. You're going to see some amazing updates that are really going to add additional utility to the NS um, name service itself. Warris, um, in the same time frame of launching um, all these amazing things, we also shipped um, the first fully decentralized, highly scalable storage network for the world. And there's nothing that competes, nothing even close. Um, four to five X repl replication factor, very cheap storage. You can store petabytes or gigabytes of data, no problem. It is a most scalable, most robust mechanism to store data in the decentralized world than what exists in the market today. And very soon we'll be talking about SEAL, which is a secrets management um, solution. So you can now start storing secrets directly on chain, um, give role-based access controls and build that directly into your applications using SWE as a coordination layer. This whole thing is all tying together in a way that um, I don't think anyone's ever seen before. And we have an amazing ecosystem that keeps growing. We're looking forward to Eka launching. Eka is going to give a new spin to how you think about bridging assets, controlling assets from any chain you want. So if you want to control your assets in Solana, control your assets on, on Bitcoin, control your assets on whatever network you want, you could do that directly using SWE as a smart contract programming layer and use SWE as a mechanism for controlling those assets directly with the same safety and programmability that's afforded um, to you by the Move programming language. It's going to be amazing. If really, you can now start trading any assets you want natively on SWE without the efforts, without having to worry about bridges. Aftermath is soon to launch its fully on-chain perp stacks. Very excited about that, where you have fully on-chain order book running at very, very high speed. To top on that as well, we've had amazing additions to the ecosystem. Both Phantom and Backpack wallets are supporting the SWE ecosystem. You can buy, sell, trade, own NFTs with these applications. And 
we are seeing a broadening of ecosystem to soil users and other ecosystems as well around the world. Um, institutions are very, very well um, informed about SWE and are getting involved in a very high level. And uh, we have deep integrations. We're working with um, Grayscale. We're working with um, Franklin Templeton. We're working with, um, we're working with Van Eck. Um, a multitude of institutions are working with us, include um, World Liberty Financial as well. Not just talking about launching ETFs and things of that nature, but actually building actual financial products on chain that would be services to businesses and consumers. And we have a multitude of stable coins on SWE. Um, I think SWE has something to the tune of four to five native stable coins, and that number is only going to grow. We're going to be announcing some new stable coins on the platform this week. And we've seen a mass BT, uh, call it BT sonification on SWE. We believe SWE will be the best place to bring utility to Bitcoin. Programmable Bitcoin will be av available on SWE and it'll be available at scale and to the tunes of billions of dollars. So Bitcoin is going to be a big narrative that we're pushing this year um, to grow the actual TVL of Bitcoin on the, net, on, a, on the SWE network, giving that utility to hodlers of BTC. So from a developer standpoint, we've seen over 200% increase in active developers. We've seen over about 120%, 125% jump in actual on-chain commits, um, commits on um, GitHub repos. That is talking about increased velocity for developers. It increases velocity of, of builders in the SWE ecosystem. Um, it's hard to find an ecosystem that's growing at such a rapid pace like SWE. Um, we've had massive hackathons, um, over 700 submissions between our AI and also the overflow hackathons as well. It's growing at a rapid rate. I think we are, we, we're running some of the world's largest hackathons today from a crypto perspective. I think only Solana is a little bit larger at this point in time. And we're growing at a rapid rate. It's, it's very exciting to see the tools that we're building in the hands of others. For ecosystems that are way more mature, they've been around for four or five years and we're literally a small baby we call ourselves. It's been around for barely two. Um, so if we chart the progression of SWE versus other chains at this, as its infancy, I think SWE blows everyone else out of the water very, very easily. So I want to make the point that what we're building here is not easy. What we're building here is taking the very, very hard path. We chose to launch this network with our own, with our own idea of like not doing an airdrop because we want to build a real community that is here to stay. Um, we also chose not to build a DM fork. Like SWE is not a DM fork like Aptos or any other network that exists today. SWE is actually hard science built by some of the world leading engineers in the world. We're in a different league, a completely different league. Um, in the same time frame, people are trying to ship consensus upgrades. We've launched five major protocol upgrades. We've launched SWE, we've launched Walrus, we've launched CK Login. Um, we're launching SEAL, it's in testnet. We're about to launch Nautilus, which is also in testnet. So the rate at which we ship, the rate at which we deliver is unmatched in the industry and it's not even close. So I also want to say the ecosystem growth of SWE is a big signage of that. So beyond just shipping great technology, the amazing um, growth we're seeing for the ecosystem and the participants in the ecosystem is also a big, big um, um, achievement that we're really, really proud about. Um, it's, it's very hard to do this by ourselves. I think SWE only exists because of the community that's behind it, and that community is growing at a very, very rapid rate. So I've talked about what we've achieved. So what's next? So, you know, we talked about amazing protocol upgrades. We talked about launching, um, you know, Walrus. We talked about ZK Login. These are all, to me, it's old news now. What's next? What are we going to be doing next? Well, there's a plethora of things that we're going to be doing. There's a Mr. Seti version 2 upgrade that's going to be coming live. When we talked about Mr. Seti at Basecamp um, last year, we said it's going to come in two forms. There's going to be an upgrade version 1, and then there's going to be an upgrade version 2 that's coming. This version 2 up update is going to actually reduce the amount of CPU usage required to um, process consensus, and you're going to see about 2 to 2.5x increase in actual throughput on validators. So SWE is already the fastest, it's only going to get faster. We're going to see Remora, which is the ability to allow us to scale horizontally using a new set of primitives. Um, we are going to have also um, a version um, SIP45 that's going to have a native um, built-in mechanism for MEV protection on chain. Um, we've mentioned SEAL, we'll get SEAL to mainnet as well. Um, Nautilus, the ability for us to verify off-chain activities directly, off-chain computations directly using um, a move on-chain. It's going to be amazing. So you can build new forms of oracles, new forms of proofs. Um, if you want to do things related to AI, you can do that directly and verify using new smart contracts. 
Um, we also have Scion that's in the pipeline, which is um, ability to find the very best path to navigate the internet to ensure that you can always reach the endpoint you want to reach. Um, SWE is going to see um, Scion in, in production, whereby even if you have the internet stack go down, SWE will still be able to run, it will be bulletproof. And then we have a plethora of other updates that are going to be coming. So we are consistently shipping. We're always working. I think the team, for the size of the team, for what we're delivering, I think we're punching well beyond our weight. And that's because we believe in the vision of what we're trying to achieve here. We're really trying to rebuild the layers of that underpins the internet, which is a hard feat in itself, but it's very, very worthwhile. So again, we got even more work to do. Right? You're going to see next-gen upgrades to Paskies, um, a, a big improvement to what we're doing in Paskies. Also, a protocol called Kelp. Kelp is a new protocol that ultimately allows you to restore your seed, pa um, your seed password. So if you had a seed that you lost, it can algorithmic help you recover that seed in a fully decentralized way without remembering any secrets yourself. Never been done before. Um, Sweet Move Prover, which is a way to formally verify your code to ensure that there are no bugs. Um, programmable P2P tunnels. Think about Lightning Network, but on steroids. So you can actually have programmable payment channels on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. Um, imagine playing a um, card game. You do that instantly, instant settlement. You're talking about 5 milliseconds end-to-end -end latency, which is unheard of. And then RPC 2.0, you're going to have GRPC and GraphQL um, support, which people have been asking for for a very, very long time. So again, these are amazing upgrades that are going to come to only improve the developer experience, but also empower developers to build really differentiated, um, powerful applications using the full decentralized stack that we're offering. I want to touch on something. Um, for us, we've always said, while we're at Facebook, we're sat in our offices, one of the things I, you know, we thought about was, if we could find a way to really coordinate what people do online in an atomic way, in a very safe way, you can build a multi-trillion dollar business. And we believe we're on the way to doing that with SWE. We believe we are building a multi, multi-trillion dollar business with SWE and the SWE ecosystem. Um, so from our perspective, um, there is nobody trying to solve these very, very difficult problems, especially doing it with the idea that decentralization is a key element to, to making it happen. Centralization is actually a very, very hidden business cost. It is a risk. We, we, we're sat there thinking, well, well, look, we're reaching peak centralization. Companies don't decide to be evil overnight. Over time, you just realize it's easy to coordinate things in a very closed loop because, right, you, you, you own the staff, you have the hardware, you have the machines, you don't have to work with external parties. You start to build these really convoluted systems and start building your own kingdoms. It, it's actually a big risk and a big cost. Um, Cybercrime is the third largest economy in the world by GDP. About $9 billion a year in cybercrime. Um, there's a big opportunity to actually really disrupt the work that's going on there. There's over $200 billion being spent in cybersecurity um, annually. $1.1 billion spent in ransomware in 2023 alone. With the advent of SWE and Walrus, and now with, uh, with Nautilus and also Steel, the hack that happened with Bybit of over a billion dollars will not be possible on a sack of SWE. So we had predicted two years ago that eventually you're going to see a hack of over a billion dollars with the EVM stack. And unfortunately, we were right. And we think it's actually going to get worse. But now with a stack with SWE and Walrus, you have binary transparency and the programmability of SWE that makes that hack absolutely impossible. So the stack that we're building, this fully decentralized stack, is only going to reduce the cost companies are going to have to spend on cybersecurity um, and cyber defense and they can channel the rest of that funding towards actual innovation. So we firmly believe that the stack we're building um, with SWE, Walrus, Nautilus, you name it, all over again, these things are going to solve some of the most pertinent problems when it comes to security. If you imagine, all you have, if you have a website stored on Walrus, your only attack vector is now going to be key management, which is a very easy problem to solve. Whereas you're buying FireEye, you're buying all these other defense systems that really are just trying to play whack-a-mole rather than actually solving the core hard issue on who has access to write, read, update, modify content. Um, having a stack like SWE is the only way to do that, especially with a decentralized stack that we're building. So we believe firmly gaming is going to drive the next wave adoption of growth in SWE. I'll be making some announcements to tomorrow in regards to gaming. Um, but overall, there are over 3.3 billion gamers worldwide. That is a massive, massive market. Our goal by 2030 is the onboard 
that 3.3 billion and growing number of gamers into the SUI ecosystem. And it's going to be done by SUI Play, it's going to be done by a number of schemes, but it's going to be done using very consumer-friendly schemes to get people on-chain. Because what, will, what that would mean is they'll now be in power of their data, in power of their assets, in power of what they do online, and it's not going to be in the control or into the confines of centralized entities. In fact, tomorrow I'll be talking more about gaming, about why gaming needs to change, why gaming is a new business model, and why SWE is the only, the only solution that can solve that from a technological standpoint. So SWE is just not an L1. And I want to make that point abundantly clear, right? We're not just trying to build an L1 here. We're trying to rebuild the internet. And that is a very, very hard problem. To solve that problem, you need to build beyond just the blockchain. Um, the ecosystem of applications and platforms that we've built that we keep launching, are really showing you the trajectory that we're taking, the steps that we're taking to make that a possibility. And I don't believe there's anyone in Web3 or even Web2 trying to make that a possibility today. So it's a powerful ecosystem of protocols where innovators come to build. And if you look at this picture, this is a sign of all the things that we're doing. This is an unforkable ecosystem. Compare that with any ecosystem that exists today, this is an unforkable ecosystem. It is the most powerful set of tools that's going to make building the next generation of applications and businesses possible. I don't think you could do it anywhere else. My name is Adnia Bjordan. Thank you very much.